We tend to think of search engines as neutral arbiters of the internet. So we use them to find things. And as we're finding things, we have sometimes this ability to sort of forget that we're using a product, a product that is made by a company. That company probably sells other products. In many cases, the same companies that uh, maintain search engines also do other things. They have email, they may offer collaborative documents, they may offer a variety of different services, online services and in addition to other types of computer related services. And so the search results that we get when we search on Google or on Bing or on Yahoo may not be entirely unbiased because you know, in all of the secret sauce inside Google's or Bing's search engine algorithms, is it unlikely that maybe there's a little bit of preference that is given to sites, to products, to services that are owned by the same company that is providing the search engine itself? So this is this idea of fair search because a lot of times when people use a search engine, again, you sort of forget that this is a Google search engine or a Microsoft search engine. Um, normally, if we, you know, if you went to someone who worked from Google and you said, hey, what mail, what online mail tool should I use? Um, wouldn't you expect them to say Gmail? Or if you ask somebody from Microsoft, wouldn't you expect them to say Hotmail or Microsoft Mail or whatever they call it now? If you went to someone from Yahoo, wouldn't you expect them to say Yahoo Mail? If you went to someone from AOL, wouldn't you expect them to say AOL Mail? I mean, that's what we expect when we talk to a representative from a company. But when we do these searches, it's sort of abstract. We've sort of forgotten that the search engine is not neutral. So let me give you an example of this. Um, there's this very interesting website that, that Greg pointed out to me. It's called Bing and On. I think this was uh, uh, created maybe, um, looks like, yeah. So it's been, it was created by Microsoft when they were trying to encourage people to use Bing, their search engine, which is sort of a competitor to Google and Yahoo and other search engines that are out there. Um, so let's, let's take the Bing challenge and see how this works. Now I'm going to search for something where I am fairly confident that the top result produced by each one of these search engines will be different and a different in sort of an interesting way. So the thing I'm going to search for here, let me zoom in, is mail. Ah, this is interesting. Okay, so now it's, uh, so here's what it's doing. It's doing the search on both Bing and Google and it's gonna present the results side by side. And so here's what we've got and let's zoom in. Okay, so if I searched on um, Google, the top result for mail is Gmail. That's interesting. Isn't Gmail owned by Google too? I think so. Uh, the second result is something called mail.com. I have no idea what that is. Yahoo Mail's here. Um, now, <laughs> there's an article from the Daily Mail newspaper in the United Kingdom, which I think is interesting. Uh, then I get to AOL. Um, I have several links for AOL. I have something called Zoho Mail, which is fascinating, um, and Lycos Mail. These are mail searches. These are mail sites I've never even heard of. Uh, Lycos Mail, again, the newspaper, the Daily Mail. So maybe that's what I meant when I searched mail. There's a little bit of a, you know, a ambiguity there. Um, another story in the Daily Mail about Kim Kardashian. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Maybe it's Kardashian. Anyway, um, okay, so that's the results that I get on Google. Um, now, let's look over here. So, so again, there's maybe like 10 results on the Google page, uh, and there's some links, and there's some news articles and other things. Let's go over here to the, G to the uh, Bing side. Okay, so this is Bing, um, and now let's see. Oh, they've been formatted the same way. Uh, okay, well actually, you know what, here's, here's the thing. So this is actually forcing me to guess. So I don't even know which one is which, they've been formatted identically, right? Now, I am going to bet that this is Bing. Because why? Because look at the first result. First result is Hotmail. Hotmail, you may or may not know, is owned by Microsoft. Outlook.com is a free personal email service from Microsoft. Interesting. Uh, second link here is Yahoo. Third link is Gmail. Now, Bing at least does Gmail the service of at least putting it on the first page of search results. Gmail doesn't even have, you know, uh, Outlook.com or, or Hotmail on its first page. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see if my hunch was correct. Um, I'm gonna hit right 
I'm going to say that I like this better. Um, okay, I don't really want to do the rest of these. I'm just going to hit view the results. The winner is Bing. Wow, interesting. So when I search for mail on Gmail, sorry, when I search for mail on Google, the top hit is Gmail. When I search for mail on, my, on Bing, the top hit is Hotmail. And when I search for mail on Google, Hotmail isn't even in the first page of results. Ooh, wow. That is some, that is like some really downgrading mail on, the, uh, on, on uh, Google's part. So this is something to keep in mind. From the perspective of a computer user and an internet searcher, an internet explorer, you just have to remember search engines are owned by big companies. So those companies want to sell you and they want to get you to use a bunch of other things. They want your personal information. You know, Gmail is free, but Google sells ads on Gmail and uses it to find out what you like and things like that. So the search engines, not necessarily neutral. Um, and they may steer you towards uh, search results that benefit the company that runs them. Now, there are efforts underway, uh, particularly in, the, in, in Europe, to try to make search engines be more fair. Um, there is a lawsuit, I think, proceeding against Google right now because of things like this, because of Google's, uh, the, this perception that Google is being used to steer people towards products uh, that Google sells um, or services that Google offers. Um, obviously, you know, this will take a, probably a long time to work out in the courts. In the meantime, just keep it in mind, when you use a search engine, that search engine is owned by somebody, and the results may reflect that fact.